sports complex where the ceremony will take place. Our senior political affairs reporter Chris Dairo presents a comparison of the swearing in ceremonies in 2013 and 2017. <laughs> With six days to go before President Uru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto are sworn in for another five-year term, preparations for the ceremony continue to take shape at the Kasarani Sports Stadium. The Army, Navy and the Air Force will be here for the remaining days rehearsing just to ensure that every plan falls into its place. Karibu. From the president's arrival, <laughs> to the marching, <laughs> inspecting the guard of honor, security has also been beefed up inside and outside the stadium, with a special force unit in the KDF making several patrols. <laughs> With the organizers planning to host 100,000 visitors, a dais which will accommodate 1,600 VVIPs was also been mounted. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is yet to compile a list of the heads of state and government who will attend the swearing-in. Uh, some of you have asked about how many uh, countries have congratulated the president on his re-election. And as of yesterday, we can confirm more than 40 countries had done so. Uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs will release these de the details uh, in due course. We also expect uh, hundreds of, uh, of diplomats and, uh, and heads of state. So uh, we are making all that arrangement so that we can be able to host them. But how different will this year's swearing in be with that of 2013? Compared to 2013, when retired President Mwai Kibaki was handing over power, this time round, the chief of defense forces, Samson Mwadede, will be the one handing over the instruments of power. That is the sword and a copy of the constitution, given that President Uhuru will be serving his second term. On that day, he will rededicate himself to the path of peace, prosperity, constitutional order, and healing. After the Supreme Court nullified his August 8th presidential election victory, a bitter war of words ensued between the political players affiliated to Jubilee and the Chief Justice David Maraga. Si Maraga na watu yake yao akora hao amesema ati basi hiyo uchaguzi ipotee. Si ndivyo wamesema? Sasa mimi sana sio rais mtarajiwa. Mimi ni rais ambao amekalia kiti. If leaders are tired of having a strong and independent judiciary, they should call a referendum and abolish it all together. <laughs> Three months later, the same court would uphold the 26th October presidential election victory of President Uru Kenyatta, and they are expected to be present during the swearing-in, which will be conducted by the Chief Registrar of Judiciary, Anne Amadi, before the Chief Justice or his deputy. As the countdown continues ahead of the big day for President Uru Kenyatta, it remains unclear what could be cooking within the circles of the NASA leadership, given that they had already threatened to swear in their leader, Raila Odinga, who has been away in the neighboring country of Tanzania since Sunday. Chris Dairo, KTN News in Nairobi.